Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. So it's been a little while. I've been distracted with some other projects going on, but we're back to the table. And I've got Marvel Champions out there, and I've got my Justice She-Hulk out there. Um, we've got Ultron on the table, because I said I wanted to play Ultron next. Um, and I think we're ready to go. So Ultron's got 17 hit points. He's good to go. Uh, let's refresher on Ultron is uh, the first Ultron has a forced response when he attacks. Then I choose whether I put a threat out there on the main scheme or I put a drone out there. <clears throat> Ultron's annoying drone, so she hope going to have a lot of fun dealing with that. Um, what I'm hoping, though, is that the Justice deck will kick in because this game will go a little bit longer. All right, so we got the Crimson Cowl. Just Claw's mysterious red hooded employer is really the genocidal android Ultron. Uh, I've got one and two, I've got standard encounters, and I've got under attack in there. Um, I've got the Ultron drones environment out, and we go over to 1B. So Ultron is using the components Claw delivered in order to build an army of Ultron drones. So let's see here. I need to start off. I need to throw my cards out there face down as a drone. All right. And then I need to draw my starting hand. So let's get our six cards. Three, four, five, six. So we got six cards going on here. And we've got surveillance team, one, two punch, first aid, helicarrier, interrogation room. Ooh, I think interrogation room is going to be fun this game. So. Interrogation room says, if I defeat a minion, I exhaust it and remove a threat from a scheme. There's going to be a lot of minion killing going on, I think. So we'll see. All right. Um, and we're going to want to get that helicarrier out there because we need card advantage. Uh, we also have the potential for a one-two punch. All right. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get, let's get the helicarrier out. Yep, we're going to do one, two, three, our first aid and our two surveillance teams to get the helicarrier out. We'll use the helicarrier to get the interrogation room out. I'm hot to do that, but probably should have just done damage. Okay, um, we will become the She-Hulk and get rid of the drone. Oh, that was a tough one to lose. And She-Hulk's going to attack for three. So we're going to take three off of Ultron. And we're going to be done. And I'm going to hold on to the one-two punch, I think. Draw three cards. Two, three. Oh, focused rage. Roar. Okay. Um, it's over to Ultron's turn. So first off, we're going to put a threat on the main scheme. Because that's what happens first. And then Ultron's going to see She-Hulk out there, and he's going to come attack She-Hulk, and She-Hulk's just going to take it. So we're going to get a bonus. Bonus card says, boost card, holy cow, three. So he's doing five damage. Ouch. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to defend a lot. Well, <laughs> we'll see. And that's not nice of him. All right, so next up. Ultron just hit me for five. When he attacks, he creates a drone, or I can put a threat on the main scheme. Um, let's do the drone thing. All right. And we're going to draw a card for our encounter. And the encounter card is Gang Up. When revealed, the villain and each minion. Oh, man. All right. So the villain and the minions are going to attack me. So Ultron's going to attack. I'm going to block this time let's see here so he's going to do two three four i'm going to block two of that so i'm going to take two but then he's also going to create a drone and both the drones are going to attack so i'm going to take two more ow dang all right that was his first round and he hit me for nine okay um villain turn is done we're back to the hero phase holy smokes he's he's smoking me all right um let's see what do we want to go after at this point because that hurt pretty bad 
Um, downtime would be a great thing, I'm thinking. Uh, we would really like to get Focused Rage out there. It's going to cost three. And I would like to get my downtime out there, too. So be one, two, three to get that out. And I can Focused Rage to get a card, which can give me another damage. But then I can go over to Jennifer Walters and rest. Let's go ahead and do that. Boy, this is this is nasty. All right, so we're gonna do one, two, three to get Focused Rage out. Um, let's see here. We're gonna use our Focused Rage. Take a damage. Draw a card. Ooh, Superhuman Strength. I'm gonna have to use Superhuman Strength to get my downtime out there. All right, we're gonna flip over. Man, there's gonna be a bunch of crazy scheming going on next round. We're gonna flip over to Jennifer Walters and we're gonna do a recovery. So when we recover, we recover for five, six, seven. So ooh, I think that should have been a two. So we're gonna recover for seven. So two, there's seven. Oop, I might have messed up the damage I'd taken already, but that's it for now. All right. So now we're going to get six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's the Gamma Slam. Right after I heal, out comes the Gamma Slam. Of course. All right, so villain side. Uh, first one is a threat on the main scheme. Second up is going to be Ultron is going to scheme. So he's going to scheme for one, and he's going to get a bonus of one. So he's going to scheme for two. We'll go ahead and let that happen. So he's going to scheme for two. That's going to make the Crimson Cowl go away, and Assault on Norad begins. Um, as, you pursue, as you pursue Ultron, you receive a distress call from the North American Aerospace Defense Command in Colorado. They are besieged by an army of Ultron drones. When revealed, each player puts the top card of their deck into play, face down, engage with them as a drone. Great. More drones. Okay. Advance to 2B. And we have, if Ultron gains control of NORAD, he will have access to the United States Ballistic Missile Command. After placing threat here during step one of the villain phase, each player must either choose to place two threat here or put the top card of their deck into play as a drone. All right. Okay, so that was Ultron doing his thing. Now we have one, two, three drones are going to scheme. Okay, that sucked. We will block. We'll use Jennifer Walters to block one of those. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! We used our ability. All right. Next up, we need a encounter card. Encounter card says, Alter Ego Surge. All right, encounter card says, oh, he's gonna scheme again. All right, so he's got one. Oh, he's only gonna scheme for one. Okay, we're, we're all right with that. That works for me. Down with that. Okay, that is the end of the villain's turn. We're back over to the hero side. So what would have been nice is uh, to be able to have one of those ground stomps out there. We got a Gamma Slam, which we will probably hold on to. Uh, what else are we looking at? We have Daredevil. We've got our Helicarrier, one, two punch. I want my endurance out there. So let's see, what would be nice would be to hold on to both of those going into next round. Um, it would be great to, I could take out all of the drones. Maybe that's what I should do. Um, yeah, let's, let's try that route. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to She-Hulk. Boom, we take out a drone. We will 
Boy, I hate punching all these drones down, but let's do our Focused Rage. And we'll take a point of damage and draw a card. Because maybe that'll be the ultimate card. Oh, it's another one-two punch. That could be the ultimate card. All right, we killed that drone. We'll use our interrogation room to get rid of a threat. All right. Um, well, I could hit Ultron for nine. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I shouldn't worry about the, the drones. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to attack Ultron once. And we'll use our one-two punch. We'll attack him again. And then we'll use our one-two punch. And then we'll attack him again. So we're going to hit him for nine damage. All right, let's get this up here out of the way. So we hit him for nine. That's going to knock him down to five. Because he was at 14, now he's down to five. Okay, um, we will get our endurance out there. So we have downtime and endurance. And we're gonna hold on to those and then be done. All right, so then we're gonna draw two more cards to get us back up to four cards. Oh, there's our ground stomp. That's a drone killer right there. All right. Oop. Make sure you keep those on the screen. All right. Villain's turn. Uh, we're over to Ultron. First thing, threat on the main scheme. So when I do this, I decide, do I want another drone? Or do I want to put two threat on the main scheme? Let's do another drone. We'll do another drone. All right, now Ultron's gonna attack, She-Hulk's gonna take it. So he's attacking for two, he's gonna get a bonus of two, so he's gonna hit me for four. Five, six, seven, so I'm gonna take seven, so I'm gonna go up to 12 damage. Okay. All right, I'm gonna draw an encounter card. Ultron's Imperative. When revealed, the first player puts the top two cards of their deck into play as drone minions. That's a lot of drones. Um, and then this comes out and it has just two thread on it, two thread on it. Okay. We're over to the hero side. All right. <laughs> so I really want to split personality and Gamma Slam. That's one, two, three. I think we're going to do it that way. So we're going to use our Helicarrier. We're going to Focus Rage to get a card and take a damage. Take a damage. Get a card. So I guess we focus rage first, and we're gonna use our helicarrier to make split personality cheaper. We're gonna use our legal practice, and then we'll use our interrogation room. All right, and we're gonna do split personality, which means we flip over to Jennifer Walters, and we refill our hand back up to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So the next thing we'll do is we will, let's see here, ground stomp's gonna cost two, which means I can't gamma slam the same round that I ground stomp. Oh, shoot. 
So do we gamble that Ultron can't take me? Oh, I've got plus three hit points. So I'm at, I've got a total of potentially 18 hit points due to my endurance, right? So I think we're going to gamble on holding, taking Ultron to Ultron 2 and then sitting on the Gamma Slam. I think that's my plan. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip over to She-Hulk. We'll have She-Hulk attack Ultron for three. So take him down to two. Oh, sorry. When I flip over to She-Hulk, I hit him for three. So there's three. No. When I flip over to She-Hulk, he was at five. Okay. <laughs> Rewind. He's at five. Okay. I. Here's what I do. I flip over to She-Hulk. When I do that, I do two damage. All right. Then She-Hulk attacks Ultron for three. All right. Two, three. Ultron one is gone. Ultron 2 comes out. So Ultron 2 says, when Ultron attacks you, put the top card of your deck face down and he gets bonus equal to the drones and he's got 22 hit points. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of hit points. Um, let's see here. Do I have, I should have 22 worth of counters. There's 20, 22. There we go. All right. All right. Now we've got three bajillion drones out there. Um... So if we ground stomp, let's use um, Lockjaw and Enhanced Physique to do a ground stomp. All right, so that does one damage to each enemy. So wipe the board of drones. Oh, those are my cards. I'm going to put them in. Oh. A lot of good stuff. Okay, and Ultron's going to take one. Okay. We will use our interrogation room, because we can. Remove a threat from a scheme. Um, do I take it off the assault from NORAD, or do I take it off of the Ultron's imperative? I think we'll take it off of Ultron's Imperative and knock it down to one. Okay, so then I'm going to be done. We're going to untap lots of stuff. Uh, we will hold on to our Ground Stomp and our Gamma Slam and draw two cards. So one, two. Ooh, Nick Fury. All right, we're done. All right, we're over to Ultron's turn. So. First off, Assault on Norad goes up by one. All right, next we have to decide to put two more threat there. Yep, we'll put two more threat there. All right, two threat. All right, next up is Ultron is going to attack. All right, let's see here. I have, with my endurance, I have plus three hit points. I don't think he can kill me so we're just gonna take this one all right so he's hitting for two and he's gonna get a bonus of two and he's gonna heal for one for each there's none i like that it was good uh, oh sorry that is not true when ultron attacks i put the top card so when he's attacking a drone should come out so i did no drone there at that point a drone comes out when the drone comes out, he attacks for two plus number of drones. So he's doing three, he's doing four damage, and he's gonna heal one. Uh, okay, so four damage means two, four. I'm gonna be at, ooh, 17. That was a bad plan. Um, so the drone's going to attack and the drone would kill me, so I have to block the drone. I didn't plan that very well. <laughs> okay, so then it is two encounter cards. I didn't plan that very well at all because this is going quite badly. This is where that concussive blast comes into play and takes me out. All right. 
So, um, encounter card number one is Rage of Ultron. Ultron attacks you. Uh, he's going to take me out. Because I'm at 17, and he's going to hit me for at least one. No, we'll double check, right? So, actually, when he attacks, we'll just play it through. Another drone comes out. Um, he gets... Plus one attack for each drone, so he's attacking for two, three, four. He's going to get a bonus of five, so he's going to do five damage to me, and that, that takes me out. Oh! So what I was going for was I was hoping I'd get through that round, then I could have gamma slammed him for, well, I would have hit him for 15, so that would have been one, two... Two to pay for the Gamma Slam, but it wouldn't have been enough to kill him. I would have hit him for 15, 18, which would have left him with three. So he would have been close to dead, but not enough. All right, there we go. There's round one versus Ultron. I think I learned some stuff. Like, uh, I don't have to worry about a ton of minions if I have that ground stomp out there. So that's good. I think I may need to defend a little bit more and work on building. I was kind of close. I was He didn't totally wipe the board with me, but he did a pretty good job. I don't know. I, I need to adjust my tactics there a little bit. So anyway, that's round one of the She-Hulk Justice deck versus Ultron. Uh, and we'll come back with round two and see if She-Hulk can get a win. So uh, if I miss something, let me know. Um, and if you would have played something a little bit different, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching.